Hey, konnichiwa, my name is Gray from Akazashi's Tea House over in Japan. How are you doing? You good? Are you genki? I'm great, thanks. I don't know why, but I try not to laugh here. No reason. Okay, I have, um, where are we? I've got a review of the latest issue. It's issue four of Mark Miller's Nightclub. This is written by Mark Miller, illustrated by Juan An Ramirez. And I tell you what, I had a blast reading this. Just flew through it. Um, it's a really good, quick, exciting read. Nice action, nice use of the vampire tropes. A little bit of a twist here and there. And yeah, these characters, these three teenagers are growing on me. I even remember the names. It's Danny Ramirez is the main character and his two friends, Sam and Amy. They're the ones wearing the masks, uh, dressing up like to hide themselves, of course, to protect themselves from the sun and deciding to use their vampiric powers for good. What would you do? That's the question. So is it a recommend? Well, yeah, it is. Simple as that. And for one ninety nine, you can't go wrong, can you? Seriously. Uh, fair play again and respect to Mark Miller for putting it out for such a low price. Now, as far as I know, this is a six issue mini, so there's only two more issues to go. But I've heard rumours there might be um, a second season, as it were, or a second series of this because I think it's proved very popular. I hope so, because it is. It's a fun book. You know, I've seen people criticising saying, oh, it's, there's nothing special about this, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying it. So what does it say about me? Maybe I just don't have great taste in comics anymore, but I think I do. Okay, so let's get on with the story summary. I'm going to show the, the first half of the book. I won't spoil too much, but if you don't want to know what happens, um, please stop watching now and come back to this review later when you've read your copy. Okay, here we go. The issue opens at the site of the collapsed building from last issue. We found another one! He's still alive! And here's Danny Garcia, cradling a baby, still wearing his costume and mask. Holy shit, that Stargard guy just saved the baby! They take the baby and they check Danny's body, but guess what? No surprises here, they can't feel any pulse. But Danny's speaking, he's asking after his friends. Are they alright? They tell Danny they haven't found his friends yet, but they've got to get him to hospital because he's been pretty badly hurt. And Danny tries to argue, no, you don't understand. One of the medics says, I don't know how you guys are doing this stuff, it's incredible. What is it, some kind of magic trick? As they're putting him in the ambulance, Danny's asking, please, please don't take off my mask. They remove his top and they can see a huge injury, a huge hole looks like in his chest. How is this guy even talking? No pulse, no BP, what's going on? Then the next page, it had to happen, didn't it? They pull into St. Mary's Hospital and it's daylight. Blue sky, the sun's out. They take him out of the ambulance and they're wheeling him towards the hospital entrance. And guess what happens next? <sighs> Shit! He starts to burn. Flames appear on his arms, on his body. Get out of the way! Please, I need to get inside. As he staggers into the hospital door, on fire, flames pouring from his body. One of the guards, I guess, in the hospital pulls out a gun. Everybody down! Bang, 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 bang! He empties his gun into Aunt Danny's body. What the hell was that? And we see charred remains of smoke pouring from him. Bullet holes in his body. Eyes white. He's gone. Or is he? Back at the collapsed building, they find Sam and Amy. Amy seems okay, but she's saying that her friend needs urgent medical attention. They load them up into the ambulance. Do you want to go with him? They ask Amy. Definitely. I can help at the hospital. I can give all these details. Then she shushes Sam and says, Don't worry. I've got everything under control. What's she planning? On the next page, we see the medics being thrown out of the ambulance. I just need to get us out of here. Amy takes a wheel and drives off in the ambulance. <sighs> in the back, still trapped down, I guess, we hear Sam's voice. You hear sirens? Yeah, they're following us, but it doesn't matter. I've got a plan. I just need somewhere safe to hide. And she drives the ambulance through some corrugated door somewhere. Where is she going? The police follow. It's a dead end. Block the gate with the cars. Everybody else come with me. They're not going anywhere. And they go inside to see if they can find them. They find the abandoned ambulance. But they can't find Amy and Sam. Amy, I'm cold. I think I'm bleeding really bad, says Sam. She tells them to be quiet. All they need is some energy. They need blood, but where are they going to find blood here? Amy says she's having it delivered. Oh no, nuts! I'm not eating rats, says Sam. Shut up and drink up. It's blood, Sam, and we need it. Danny wakes up in a morgue. Hello, is anybody in here? Ugh. 
The hospital staff have barricaded the door to the morgue. Danny's hammering on the other side. I don't want to hurt anyone. I can explain. I'm just an ordinary person. <laughs> it's classic. It's funny dialogue by Miller. Mate, we just put four bullets in your body. How the hell is that ordinary? Then Danny takes a moment to think it through. Wait a minute. I can use my powers. Maybe turn into mist or something. Oh no, I'm too weak. I gotta get some blood. And then he looks over at one of the dead bodies. Oh, it's like drinking sludge. It must have to be fresh. Then we get this great double page spread by the artist Juan Anna Ramirez. Look at this, it's a bat attack. A load of bats swarm into the hospital through the reception. What the hell? Just in time, it looks like Detective Las Garas. Is he here to help or is he pissed? Okay, let me end my story summary here. There's still quite a few pages to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I had a great time reading this. Really good. Okay, now we've got the next issue. It's out in May. Nightclub issue 5. I think this is a six issue miniseries. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But hey, come on. 199, it's a great, fun vampire story with a little bit of a twist. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you feel like leaving a comment, that would be awesome. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope to see you in a future video. This is Grey from Wakazashi's Tea House, signing off for the night. Madame.